hey guys good morning so it's another vlog vlog with you if you're new to this channel you're welcome and if you're already part of this amazing family thank you so much for staying tuned I already know what time it is it is tea time I'm going to my hometown because I lost my grandma yesterday I'm not sure you can hear me but I'm going to leave a subtitle so yeah I'm going to take you guys along and possibly introduce you guys to some of my tradition stay tuned Good day and welcome back to my channel. So I'm at my hometown and today is the day that you're going to bury my grandma. Let me just show you guys around. Let me show you guys around. That's my mom and her dance crew. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to get dressed and also dance along with them, but <laughs> Bye -bye. Okay guys, so that's it for now. I I still have work to do after my class. I'm going to get dressed and come back. See you in a bit. Bye bye. So that was my grandma's house and we're going to our place right now. We're going upstairs. So that's what it is. Here are my cousins. Here's my older cousin, my first cousin. And here is Amaka. Oh. And the rest. Hello. My first cousin. <laughs> I'm your baby. <laughs> Who else is here? Yeah, so here is also my, my sister. Say hi. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys to everybody as much as I can. Let's be going. <laughs> See by the way I'm sweating, you guys. Uh, so that is my mom leading me, like teaching me how to do the dance step. And then um, as a grandchild, as, as an adult, I have to dance to greet the people that have come to pay their respect and then going to, to say farewell to my grandma. So that was what I just did. Hey guys, so the lady in pink, uh, on the pink blouse crying is the Ada of the family. That's my dad's elder sister. She's the first daughter. Um, wow. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so what you see right now in the video are people praying and making wishes because grandma lived over a hundred years so everyone is praying that them they and their family would live longer than my grandma did so i don't know if this happens in other tradition but in the Igbo tradition when someone dies at a very old age it's more like a celebration even though it's really sad we are all humans but it's more like a celebration and also before the person is buried people come around and pray um on the casket they pray for the person that person they pray that they'll be able to live a better life after life and they make different kind of wishes um they wish and they pray that let's just say they wish they wish that um, this person dying now will mean that there will be no more death in your family, you know, untimely death, and and um, every other person is going to grow older than the person that died. Their health is going to be way better, and the person, the dead person, is going to bring more riches to the family, you know, and just solve everything and just make everything good and great i don't know if it's the same in your culture or tradition if it is or if it isn't let me know down in the comment section below 
let us get to know our traditions even better. I <laughs> <laughs> So the lady in dark green and silver beadings, that's my mom, <clears throat> and the lady in light green, that's my aunt. Um, my dad's sister. So um, the rest are my cousins, relatives, and people that came to pay respect. If you watch, you'd see a man that's covering the coffin properly with a wrapper. That's from my grandma's side. So in the Igbo tradition, or rather from where I'm coming from, for where I come from, um, if you get married to someone and you die, right, your people will have to come and get your, your body from your husband's place. So that's what's happening now. Her people are the ones that are going to go and bury her. So... And while they're going there, ladies are not allowed. It's strictly men. <laughs> Hey guys, so I've decided to do this short episodes of I and my cousins, my first cousins and like everyone that, that will be able to do the video. So just to talk about um, our best memory of our grandma wow. and the one that I can remember vividly is um, every time we we'll come for Christmas, <laughs> can you see him? Every time we we'll come for Christmas, um, I and my elder brother, when she goes for meetings and all those things, she'll bring meat lots of meat and malt and i love meat <laughs> so i think that was that i always look forward to that every time i'm coming back coming to village i want nest malt and meat so that was it for me i think i was i didn't really spend so much time with her but i really love you grandma i love you grandma rest in peace all right on to the next person my favorite favorite mem memory of my grandma uh, she's a she's a loving mother because she's the type of person that will always uh, force you, have you eat? Eat now, even when you are not hungry. 
she will still pushing you, you know, to eat. And she's the very heart of Ezoe family. No, no, I really love her. No matter, although she is of, of age 100 plus 100, but her death to her son is still shaking me. But we just thank God. May her soul rest in peace. So what's your name? Oh, my name is Emenike Noya. Okay, so you were present for um, our grandma's um, grandma's burial today, right? Yeah, yeah. She she's a mother, also a wife to me, also. Okay. So how are you related to the family? Or oh, how I related to the family? His son, mm. Atilare, mm. is also my father. Okay. And he's in the same age, age grade with my dad. Okay. That means late Dr. Ezoko Serinoyalo. Mm. So she's like a mother to me, grandmother. She's also like a wife to me. Yeah. yeah so she's a nice woman. She's a nice woman. Since since I was born and brought and brought up in this place, I have not. I'm not. I will I say. I haven't seen I haven't any problem with anybody. Mm. Because she's a man of peace. So what's your favorite memory of her? Well, my favorite memory of her is whenever I want to come and plug uh, go Gova or Mango <laughs> say, I am Momo, Momo. What on the side there? What on the side? Who knows that you go to this side so that yes. you will not enjoy yourself. So she's a nice woman. She's a nice mother. All right. Thank I you so much. I live mix her. Yeah, me too. Mix her. Thank you so much for coming. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Yeah. Uh, now you could be called good evening, sir. Good evening. I, 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 I like when I'm alone here, bro. Okay. Wow. Wow. Francis. As you hear. How are you? Oh, my mom. Born doctor. As you hear. You want to? I'm head of the family now. I'm the family I win the Yata. AGK, our last born, Lawrence Ezoy, Elias Las. Okay, Las. Oh no, Elias. Oh no, so I am. One day be a manager. Atomade virus then to even any whatever nine I try making sure I can so nekun neko obo no nekun ne grand grandchildren on we na bia na forty something so now our Joey King Mega is a very large family favorite memory because na yuku he <laughs> But as I to eyes of simulation, like any lemon good lemon, I did lemon. Mongol and I buy up one at your own. Oh, rich, I did. Oh, my car be on your own. If Mama is taken back, I'm not going to be here. I'm Jamie's here. Another one, Melon Waka and Aqua and Ebe, or Ebe, which you are. Eh, but then, when I hear the children in camp, Mama is here. I hear Papa is here. As in the kunne, as in the kunne. Oh, we tazo, oh, we blazo, oh, we 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 oh, we blazo, oh, we